Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome to another quick edit video. This time I'm working on this forest image. Here I'm aiming to separate the yellow leaves of the tree in the center from the background and create a cool looking color theme. That means I'm keeping the yellows of those leaves and the whole background will be in a light blue color tone, which will make those leaves stand out even more. All the post-processing I'm doing on this photo will be done in Adobe Photoshop. That means I'm doing the raw adjustments in the camera raw editor, do the major adjustments in Photoshop, and finally I will make use of the Nick Collection plugin to add some nice filters as well. So before I start, here are the before and after images first. Alright, here we are in the camera raw editor and I'm starting in the optics tab as always by activating those two settings. Then let's head back to the basic stuff and for the profile I'm going with Adobe Landscape since this will slightly boost the saturation already. Then right away I want to work on the separation of those yellow leaves and the background. That's actually pretty easy, I can just pull down the temperature. And you can see we will get this nice bluish background while the leaves stay yellow almost completely. I will be doing some more adjustments on the colors but first let's do the basic adjustments. Right away I'm dropping the highlights to prevent overexposure. I'm also dropping the shadows to add some contrast. Then maybe let's decrease the blacks for some more contrast. Now I think it would look cool if the image has a slight hazy look to it. So I'm going to just apply some negative dehaze. This will also help brightening up the image. Okay, nice. Now we did lose some detail due to the negative dehaze, but let's fix that by simply adding some texture. And then let's add some vibrance. Okay, nice. I could drop the exposure just a bit and that looks pretty nice I think. Then let's continue. For this shot there aren't actually any local adjustments. So I'm going on with the tone curve. Here I'm going to the blue channel, pick the point on the right side and just drag it to the left a little bit. And you can see this will give the highlights a blue color cast. And this way we can separate the background from the yellow leaves some more. Then the color grading in the color mixer. First I'm going to the saturation tab. Here I want to make sure to only have blue and yellow color tones throughout the image. So I'm dropping red, purples and magenta all together as well as the green tones. Then let's push the yellow tones. Let's see, maybe we can drop the orange tones just a bit. Okay. Also, I want to go into the luminance tab and increase the yellow luminance. Just to make those leaves a little brighter. Alright. That looks pretty cool. Then let's go into the color grading tab and for the shadows I'm going with the cold color tone but with a rather low saturation. And I'm also applying a cold color tone to the mid-tones. Again, I'm dropping the saturation here. All right, nice. Then we're almost done in the camera raw, raw editor. I just want to sharpen the image real quick. Now let's open it up in Photoshop. First off, I need to clean the image. So I'm duplicating this layer by hitting Ctrl J and I'm grabbing the spot healing brush, zoom in a little bit and just get rid of a few things here. For example, there's way too much going on in this tree. So I'm going to get rid of some of those branches. Okay, that was quite a bit of work, but that was totally worth it. Looks much, much better now. 
then let's work on the colors of the image for a little bit therefore i'm creating a vibrance adjustment layer and here let's simply drop the vibrance with this layer i want to specifically target those trees on the side because i think they they are just too saturated of course i don't want to target the whole image so i'm filling the layer mask of that adjustment layer with black by hitting ctrl i and thus i'm inverting it then i'm just grabbing the brush tool set the foreground color to white and then just brush over those trees then next i'm merging all those layers by selecting them and hitting ctrl e i want to work a little more on those yellow leaves for this reason I want to specifically target them and that's why I'm using the TK panel plugin. But let me first duplicate this layer again by hitting Ctrl J. And now with the TK panel plugin, under the rapid mask panel, I'm going to select yellow as the color. And you can see it perfectly selects those leaves. Let's check the layer mask box. Again, go to color, yellow. This way I'm applying a layer mask just for those yellow leaves and now I'm going with the curves adjustment layer and by holding down the alt key and clicking between those two I'm creating a clipping layer which basically means this one only affects the layer right beneath it. So let's add some contrast to those leaves. Let's see. Drop the highlights in the blue channel, making them even more yellow. I think that looks good this way. Then let's merge everything again. And now it's time to add some contrast, which I want to do using luminosity masks again. So let's just duplicate this layer, go to the TK panel once more. Yeah, I first want to specifically target the darker areas, so I'm applying a darks mask. I'm first looking through all those available masks. Let's try this one. Again, I'm applying a new layer, create a clipping layer, switch the blending mode to overlay. And I'm grabbing the brush, set the foreground color to black, drop the brush opacity to not make it too strong, and then carefully paint over everything. Okay, as you can see, I have darkened basically the background without affecting the bright leaves in the center part. And thus I'm adding some nice contrast to the image. Now next up, I think I'm going to use the Nick Collection plugin to finalize the image. So let's merge those three layers once more and go to filter, Nick Collection, Colorfix Pro 4. Here, let's go with the polarization filter first and just slightly increase the strength. That should be enough already. Then let's add another filter right away. In this case, the glamour glow would look pretty cool, I think. And it just gives the image a dreamy look. Let's reduce the glow warmth. And maybe also the glow strength. And then let's apply it like this. Now I do want to try and distort the image to make the trees appear to be straight. I'm not sure if it will be working, but let's try. So just in case I mess something up, I'm duplicating the layer again. Then let's hit Ctrl T, right click on the image and go to Warp. And let's just drag this point a little to the left and the other side to the right. Okay, I think that works pretty good. It's at least better than before. So at this point, I want to stop editing and I hope this video was helpful and interesting. If you have questions left, then feel free to ask in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video.